continue to follow the markets here. So far, so good in this uh, week. And right now, joining me, George Schultze is with us, founder of Schultze Asset Management. Thank you for being here. A tough week last Good week, year, yeah. different story so far this week. What do you make of it? I think this is a time, Nicole. It's, it's, it's a time to you know, get ready for the sell in May and go away season. Mm -hmm. uh, the markets have been, have been great. There's a nice recovery going on. Last year was good, too. What people aren't really pricing in is what might go wrong. You know, everybody has been talking about the Fed lowering interest rates, you know, the election, all good things, you know, earnings, you know, we're right in the beginning of the earnings season, things are looking pretty good. But on the other hand, it's probably a good time to start thinking about short selling, you know, taking, taking profits and looking for where the next leg might go. Yeah, because there, that's two different concepts, right? Taking your profits, sell in May and go away is different than short selling because that's for the people who are going to stick around. That's true. Right? That's and true. watch and see. Well, maybe, what I'm thinking is yeah. take, take your profits and longs because, yeah. you know, the markets have been good. You know, nobody's really expecting anything bad to happen. Right. And earnings, you know, are looking pretty good. Yeah, Interest you noted that. You internet. were talking here in the notes, you have 73% beating so far. And um, the expectations from what I'm hearing going forward into the rest of 2024 are looking pretty good and fundamentally yeah. could help. That's right. But nobody seems to be really talking and focused on the fact that we still have an inverted yield curve. Mm -hmm. The fact that interest rates are up tremendously from where they were 24 months ago. And the fact that distress is starting to pick up. There are more and more companies having difficulty making ends meet, especially companies with leverage. So short selling some of those companies, I mean, you might be seeing more bankruptcies in certain sectors, not just because higher interest rates, but also inflation and because of secular change. Yeah, so, I mean, I don't know if you're naming any of those names, but there's no doubt when you look at the distressed securities market, there was a lot of talk about after COVID, then we had Omicron and we had a lot of bankruptcies. Yep. You have a high rate environment um, and a lot of companies have a hard time with that, right? I think that's right. And, well, are there and certain the, kinds of companies that you think may be more distressed than others in your opinion? Yeah, I think EV companies are really facing issues. Companies like Lucid and Rivian, mm -hmm. you know, Tesla. Mm -hmm. If you had shorted Tesla, you would have done very well so far this Right, year. which most people did not. Yeah, yeah. Right. Well, because people have been burned so badly with that one. But easier to short some, something like Lucid, you know, right. where it has more liquidity challenges and really hasn't gotten production to the point where Tesla is. You know, so there, that, that whole sector, I think, is resetting and, and, and readjusting to the fact that there's not a you know, big enough charging network, that consumers can't afford to buy EVs. And God forbid, right. if they do buy them, the cost of repairing them is outrageous. Right. So and that, getting financing is tough, too. That's right. Well, the cost of that financing has gone up hundreds of percent, thousands right. of percent. So that's a big change. And most, most vehicles are sold with financing. Mm -hmm. you know? mm -hmm. And as you mentioned, Tesla, and we're waiting, obviously, um, after the bell today, but now we're hearing of more layoffs. In fact, uh, saying that they're going to, t to uh, terminate 2,000 employees in Fremont, California. Yeah. We've heard of recalls. We've heard of layoffs. We've heard of lowering the prices. Um, they're lowering the price of uh, the self-driving software. Right. Having to, um, but this one here, it says plans for uh, 2,688 layoffs in Texas, according to this yeah. report. These are all um, bad signs. Yeah, certainly doesn't sound great, but you know, Elon Musk said that they do this reorganization regularly. I mean, do you feel like that's good enough? Do you feel like when he says they're lying, we're not canceling our cheap model car? Do you, do you believe him along the way? You know, I, I guess it is it's, it's probably the right way for him to be managing the business, but it's not necessarily something you want to be on the ride for along the way. I mean, uh, Facebook, Meta, got it right. They took some drastic measures about almost one and a half years ago, and last year wound up being a great year for them. You know, but the market recovered, and they're selling more advertising with Facebook, Meta. You know, with Tesla, I think they're doing it because the market's changing. You know, cons consumers are, you know, they're having more difficulty yeah. buying. Would you short people. Tesla today ahead of the earnings? If I had to make an investment trade in Tesla, I think it would be a short yes today. If you had to, I, I mean, I'm yeah. not saying that you're doing that, right? right. Um, but you know, we're hearing about Fremont, California. I'm seeing about Texas here. So it's, it looks like it's going to be, you know, across the board. And also, he canceled his trip to India. Oh. He was supposed to have a trip to India and meet with the prime minister, and that was supposed to be another bright spot for Tesla, but for right now, um, yeah, that's, I think also with the, yeah. the rental car companies slowing down their purchases, Hertz had a 
terrible yeah. couple periods of earnings because they bought so many electric vehicles and the cost right. of repairing those vehicles far exceeded what they had budgeted. And yeah. so I think that, you know, that's difficult for the consumer also thinking forward. And people, people who would be interested, for example, I rented a lot from Hertz over the last couple of years for many reasons. And so often there was a Tesla, which I would love to rent. And my teenage sons were like, yeah, get the Tesla. Yeah, I said, great. listen, I have to drive a long way. I don't know. I'm going to be driving at night by myself. Yeah. I don't know how this works. The I don't know. So not there. part of it is just, you know, people need to be informed. Maybe I would have rented a Tesla if they said, here's how you do it, here's how you charge it, you know, this is how. But, you know, it's just too foreign for many people at this point. Um, last but not least, a Bitcoin, is that something on your radar? Is that something you dabble in or no way? We have been looking at Bitcoin. The having is an interesting thing. Right. Um, our big investment with Bitcoin was through the Grayscale Bitcoin Trust, which sure. had been trading at a large discount. Right. Now that discount is on, so we've been monetizing that trade. It's worked out really well. But now it's a different market with more and more competitors being led into the space. Grayscale, of course, won that lawsuit right. against Are the SEC. Are you looking at GB, GBTC? Is that what we're talking about? Yes, or? the Grayscale yeah. Bitcoin Trust. Yes. Right. And it was a home run last year and into this year. And it's continued to go up with the price of Bitcoin. But now, you know, they're starting to see some redemptions and the market for that, you know, that, that So at uh, 59, do you just sort of buy, sell or hold that at the moment? I think it's becoming more of a sell now because oh, really? you know, it's gotten close to fair value. There's a question that we'll see what happens with Bitcoin with the halving that's supposed to bring yeah. up a lot more demand. Yeah. I think it's George Schultz with a reality check today. Uh, maybe some people are getting ahead of themselves with some excitement on certain things and they need to uh, take a pause. Remember Thank you. Remember selling that and go away. It's true. I mean, that is an old adage here on Wall Street, and it's served well for many. I don't have, I don't, I didn't get my almanac out. I don't know how often that actually works, but I know it's true. It's definitely um, seasonal. The yeah. markets are seasonal. No doubt. Nice to see you, George. Thank you so much. Great George Schultze, founder of Schultze Asset Management.